Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Aquaponics on a Budget. Today, we're going to talk about how much food I can grow. Not not me, I mean you can grow in your aquaponics. Just so you have some idea of what you're looking at getting into aquaponics and comparatively to growing in the ground. But while I'm talking, a necessity in aquaponics and gardening, everybody knows, <coughs> is keeping the small plants going. Now, sorry, I don't know why. Uh, it's kind of rainy, cloudy, and everything. If it starts raining real loud, I might have to cut the short. I mean, the uh, the show short because you won't be able to hear me over the rain in in here. So. Uh, if that happens, you'll understand because you, all you hear is just crashing rain hitting the aquaponics. I mean, hitting the hitting the plastic. All right, but it's it's. Let's talk about uh, the size. Everybody knows that a uh, gallon drum cut in half is what I use for my grow bed. Uh, I'm going to be using whole 55 gallon drums. For growing my bigger trees, the kumquats and the bananas and strawberry trees and the marangas and, and all of that, so I can grow them into aquaponics. Uh, the several different kinds of bananas, uh, but that's that's future future shows. But let's just talk about one of these half barrels. Now, if you were to add this one half barrel up and compare it to how much ground space you would be growing in. I would put this space, which is roughly two by three feet, uh, it's a little bit more or less, but you know, it's roughly two by three feet. I would say that's equivalent to a 10 by 10 area in the ground or raised bed, you know, so uh, maybe a little bit less than a raised bed, depending on your, your dirt content and, and your compost content in there. but. And normal gardening and all that is this this right here is equivalent to about a 10 by 10 bed. But the thing about that is that you can grow things really, really close together and it won't affect them. I mean, as long as they're getting light, the roots will intermingle and they'll grow and they'll be just fine because they're getting all the nutrients you get because it's saturated in through rocks every day. But I'm going to get to playing the seed. <laughs> Because it's just a necessity as I talk. Oh, uh, I had an idea. Uh, I'm gonna try some peas in there. Uh, in in the aquaponics, I, I was thinking, well, it's cool water, you know. <laughs> Why wouldn't they work? I mean, I've never tried peas in in the aquaponics. So later on, I'm gonna try peas in the aquaponics on the other side. But uh, now we we harvest most of our seeds. Uh, and we put them through a, uh, like you would do your food. Uh, it's, they're, they're put up, they're stored and preserved in, in bags marked with a date and what they are and they're putting into a cycle. So I have to go through the first ones before I get to these. And our sponsor, don't worry, you're getting nothing but this year's seed. So, uh, you know, you don't want to be worried about that. Uh, and plus, uh, I got tracking numbers for everybody, so uh, I'll be posting those later on too. Uh, but anyway, I have uh, lettuce, which our lettuce is is mixed uh, because we grow uh, red romaine, regular romaine, uh, butter crunch, uh, oak leaf, uh, deer tongue, uh, red red leaf, red oak leaf. Uh, well, there's just so many. Uh, uh, salad bowl, uh, butter crunch. If I didn't say butter crunch, we don't grow iceberg because it's not really good for you. So I put them in mixes. You know, when I harvest seeds and I mix them, and I want to show you something real quick. I'm going to get off camera just for a second and I'll show you how uh, our lettuce.
Krista might be mad at me, but I went and harvested just a little peach off of of lettuces when they go seeds. I mean, they have beautiful flowers, and this one would have been full of little beautiful uh, light purple to dark purple blooms, and you know they're just pretty to watch anyway. But there'll be hundreds and hundreds of seeds off one plant, so we'll we'll take and we'll put a pillowcase over them. When, when they're done and they're dried out, we'll put a case on, we'll, we'll pull them up and we'll just shake them like crazy. And then you can pretty much just easily blow out anything that's not. So, uh, but they all bolt when in, in the heat temperatures, but they won't this time of year. And uh, you might say it's a little late to be planting uh, lettuces and broccolis and, and different stuff. It's not in the aquaponics because I have to do this every 30 days. Uh, for the aquaponics, I can grow a full head of lettuce from seed to a full head of lettuce in 35 days. Uh, broccoli in 35, 40 days, depending on the light and everything. Now, there's a little bit of variance there, how much sun we're getting. Uh, we finally got rain. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. We got, the, we got rain. But uh, different things take different times. And we do uh, – we do – we, we've won a bunch of seed contests. Y'all saw the seed contest I won, which I'm doing a video uh, real soon about uh, we're going to start a carousel package of the seeds we won because we're just trying to share. We, we are seed collectors, and, uh, and, but we buy seeds too. You know, if, if you know, we see them on sale or, or we can get them stuff we don't have or see stuff on, on y'all's channel. We see stuff on there it's like, wow, we'd like to have some, so we have to go buy so those seeds and sometimes you're gonna have a crop failure. I mean sometimes when you have a crop failure you don't get seeds. So it's good to buy seeds too. I mean it's not I mean it's good to save all your seeds you can, but it's good to have to buy seeds and have them stored and, and stored up too. Uh, like this Bloomingdale spinach right here, you know, it bolts, you know, first thing warm weather. I mean I grow it during the winter time. Oh, it is my favorite spinach ever, you know, so I'm going to be planting that some today, too. And blue kale, well, this is dinosaur kale. I love dinosaur kale. Really good for you. It gets really huge. Uh, Brussels sprouts, Chinese cabbage. If you haven't tried Chinese cabbage, you need to try it. Uh, red kale, I'm going to be planting that. Swiss chard, everybody knows uh, I'm growing Swiss chard for a reason. Uh, it it <coughs> uh, it rebuilds cells in your pancreas, so it reverses diabetes. So, and I'm growing this for family members and uh, everybody else. And plus, Chris is really getting on to me about uh, you know you're getting older, you need to do this. So I'm going to start eating a lot more Swiss chard. In my salads. Uh, I have uh, celery, which uh, they grow wonderful in our plants. I know I don't know if y'all have seen my past videos, but green celery and the red celery, and I actually grew red celery in the ground and kept it in the heat of Alabama for three years. And it finally, during this drought, I mean, it was just so hard on all plants and just no moisture in the air that it finally died off. I'm, I think I'm, I maybe have one out of a dozen. But I'm going to replant some of this. And uh, like Joy, I mean, I don't really – it has a licorice flavor. I don't really like the licorice flavor of it in the stock. But the greens are fine for mixing in salad. So I'll be planting some of that. And, uh, of course – we harvest a lot of broccoli. I mean, I, we are broccoli fanatic, so I'll be planting a, uh, at least a half a tray of broccoli to, to go out there. And uh, so, so you can see in, in our harvesting, you can see where things get in there that are not, you know, broccoli seeds. It's just from us shaking it in there and we store them. Just so long as there ain't no bugs in there, then, then you're fine. Uh, a bit of particle leaf ain't gonna hurt nothing. So anyway, how much food can I grow? Well, it's just like a ten by ten in your garden, and 
the thing about that is that it's year round. And imagine having two dozen of these, uh, well, let's say 20 of them, and that's 200 square feet of garden space just for having 20 half barrels. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm getting close. Uh, and, you know, I watch all the other aquaponics videos too, but there's, I have a few heroes uh, like Rob Bob's Backyard Farming. He's awesome with, with aquaponics. He can grow anything. But, you know, it, I can grow anything. Krista can grow anything. I mean, Krista's been told that she could grow a fence post, and uh, she been told she could. <laughs> I don't know say that. Uh, talk it into growing. That's what I was going to say. But, you know, uh, that's neither here or there. I'm not the same way because uh, we, we're here by ourselves on the homestead. So we die for somebody to talk to. But I need to get to planting because uh, we're going to run too long if we don't. Now, I just, you know, like using table saw and stuff to get little scraps and stuff like that. That's what I use for markers. You know, it's just little pieces of wood, and, you know, I just write on there with a permanent marker. I don't spend any money. I mean, if I happen to have uh, silverware, plastic silverware from someplace I've been, then uh, I'll uh, use that. But uh, I think we're going to plant first. We're going to plant some red kale, uh, dinosaur kale, and the Bloomingdale spinach. Uh, I'll point that first. But I'll, what I'll do is I'll just put a marker where I start at and and then when I get to I just put that as dino kale. Dino kale. And then put it to where I start at. Oops, that one's broken. I better start over here. Take that down so it don't move a little bit. Now, you see this? How this one is sitting on here? Instead of putting little holes in in all these, I take them and I put them together. A nail, <laughs> and I just kind of mash it down in there, and that creates little divots for me to plant. Uh, my new seeds. I have some extra dirt here, so when uh, when these are all done, I'll take that dirt and I'll lightly sprinkle it over these. And then uh, when I'm not on air, I'll, I'll lightly water these. Uh, but uh, let me get some of these out. I put some in the palm of my hand. Now there's there's no particular science. I've seen uh, different ways of doing it. I put like ten or fifteen between the pinch of my finger, and that's kind of move my fingers around so I so I get like two in each one. Sometimes there's three or four. <laughs> so you just move right along. Now seeds are seeds are easy. Seeds will grow. Seeds want to grow. Uh, all you do is can make sure the conditions are right for them to grow. So don't spend too much time planting seeds. Just move on. Keep moving. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> Oops, four or five in that one. That's okay. I will call the the bad ones but see we already planted to right there almost half this tray put all in back as much air out there as I can all right then we're done I turn them upside down so I don't pick them up again and now we're gonna go with red kale Red kale is awesome. It gets huge. Bugs love it, though. So it might be a good reason why bugs love it. I 
think we blend it together a little bit, but it's a great kale. And so I'm going to be starting right here. So let's see. That's in there good. And then again, you know, everybody says, you know, don't plant this together or this together or this together and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, you know, nobody's ever told me the rules. I mean, I've been doing this. Uh, I've been in the greenhouse business uh, for 20 years. I mean, I used to grow professionally for uh, Super Kmart off grid, you know, so. I never followed it any rule followed any rule. I mean it was just something that uh, had a smile on my face thinking of this red kale. We love to we make a, a potato uh, red kale. It's a spicy potato red kale uh, and we all love it. You know, when I take a jalapeno, put in there, and uh, if I have some, then I put a uh, turkey cabasa in there. It's called our kale soup, and we love it, love it, love it. And you know, so I have, I had some already planted. See, this is every thirty days. I, I'm doing this. I'm planting more, and this is about a quarter of what we plant. So. If you're really out for food production, then you need to really start planting and getting your stuff ready. I got plenty of those seeds. I'll just use that whole one. I'm going to put bee spinach for Bloomsdale spinach. This is awesome. I could just have a salad every day. Of this spinach, never eat anything else. I would be happy for the salad of Bloomfield spinach. If I sit down, might make it easier. <laughs> Let me just finish. Looks like where I start at. Make sure it's kind of packed in there. I haven't had a lot of luck with uh, wooden cells been seed, uh, seed harvest. Uh, I mean, I harvest the seeds, bugs love them, and that's the problem is you got to fight the pest out of them and we don't use any pesticides or anything like that we might use neem oil and we want to get some of that soap uh, Dr. Bronner's uh, Cast Castile soap I think it's called that'll come uh, with money you know that's one thing you know you can go off grid and all that kind of stuff and say you're going to do without money. But the problem is it takes money to get off grid and it takes time. So you're, you're stuck in their system. It's hard to get out of Egypt. You're stuck in their system till you know, till you can get completely self-sufficient and by yourself, it's it's really really hard. I'm just gonna sprinkle some dirt over these. So that's our goal, and plus, uh, there's some people interested in moving close to us. So once we have help, you know, that can physically work. You know, here and, and want to have the same goals in mind to, you know, to not have to go to the grocery store and, and all that. So, you know, if, if 
it's something that has, with every, you know, if somebody says to you, uh, I wouldn't notice if, if we, you know, and I've even said it before, uh, which I was wrong, and I take it back. I would notice if the grid, I mean, if, uh, you know, SDHF happened, you know, because SHFP happened. <laughs> uh, because we would lose a lot of our staples. Uh, the, the sugar, and of course, I'm working on that. Y'all know that with the stevia. But uh, we would lose. Uh, we're working on flour. Uh, we have a friend who is growing Egyptian wheat right now. And we're seeing how that works out. Uh, because for the three of us, uh, if we grew a 50 by 50 area, that would be enough wheat, supposedly, for me, Kristen, and Anna for the entire year. Uh, I mean, I don't know how sure that is. Uh, we grew a 20 by 50 foot thing of wheat, and it lasted us a regular GMO wheat, and it probably lasted us uh, three and a half months, maybe. Uh, so we don't we don't know. We it's something we have to get into. If, if this is going to come with time. Uh, It's going to come when when we have more time, more time to do this, more time to do that. Uh, I'll water that in, and that will be just fine. Let me move this out of the way. We're moving on to number two tray. All right, my hands dirty, and now it's gonna be wet. <laughs> right off of my pants. All right, we got all these. I'm gonna plant spinach in the aquaponics. Uh, I'm really excited to see if spin I mean, not spinach, but peas. I'm really excited to see if they grow because uh, we uh. We grow the stew out of asparagus beans in there, you know, all year round. And, uh, and they're just awesome at any time. All right, our switch yard. That's pretty important. Sorry, I'm eating on camera. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, my pen. Now I'm going to go ahead and plant. Y'all are getting flushed right now, so. That's why it's just flushing. Uh, I'm going to plant all these I can. These are, we have uh, a ton of these seeds that we were able to put up this year. Uh, One fellow over there, that's okay. So we have plenty of these seeds. Might even try to plant more of these for this 30 day period. Because uh, they have a bad habit of growing too much. <laughs> But you never know till you try to grow it. I mean, it's a. Uh, but I want to find a way to store this to make it. Uh, I got to figure out how it can be healthy for you. You know, to to help promote the your pancreas, uh, to rebuild the genes, rebuild the not genes, uh, cells. We build the cells in your pancreas. I got enough for one more row. That 
when I start. All right, that was easy enough. Here's another thing. Turns it done. All right, this uh, Chinese cabbage, it has about the same germination rate. Uh, same with the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to try to put these two in here. Let's put this in the three. Pen is fighting me to stop working, but we will keep pressing forward. That's the beauty of live streaming. <laughs> we were able to put up a lot of uh, PCs, and this is awesome stuff. Awesome in stir fries. Uh, we have a lot of stir fries and soups, if you can't tell. Uh, but it is, it grows really quick and great in stir fries. I'm gonna take one more row over there. Look there. And go up there now. And Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna make a label. One of my favorites, Brussels sprouts. You can saute them, you can bake them, you can candy them. Yes. There's just so much you can do with these little morsels of goodness. <laughs> my family wouldn't eat these. At first, so I started cooking with them, and then they're like, Yeah, I can eat those. <laughs> so, went really quick. So we're getting a lot of seeds planted in a short amount of time, are we? And I'm planting too many of uh, certain things, but hey. I always try to use uh, wet soil too, uh, you know, moist soil. And well, it's pretty much wet. And, you know, uh, moist soil has a tendency to dry out, you know, and this moist soil, I mean, wet soil, it, it won't dry out anytime soon. Giving my seeds a good start. You know, this warm temperature. There'll be a few of them germinating in the next uh, day or two. When I water it in, it'll all work out. It'll all wash away. The extra wash away. I mean, I'm not going to water it in with a hose or anything. I have a light, uh, uh, one of those spout waters. And Anna has one that's. This is one of Anna's chores is, is watering, so uh, she likes it. 
good for her to learn part of her homeschool. Uh, she would normally be out here with me right now, uh, helping me plant and really trying to do that. But, uh, kind of stormy and windy out there and uh, I just figured Rod would come out here and do it. Uh, but she is my awesomest helper. And as she said, as she likes to say, she, she comes up with new words. Uh, let me think. Uh, I got to think of it. Came up with a, a weirdo something. I don't know. But I thought it was pretty awesome. I'm just putting these off to the side so I can put them in place. Uh, and actually, I could set them directly into the aquaponics if I had the available bed in there. The available bed space. Uh, Rinse off my hands. I can use in the clean water. It's filling up and draining. Y'all remember those seeds we planted? Squad baby? And it's hauling. Oh, where do you crazy at? That's it. She's hollering at me. Where do you crazy at? <laughs> She's calling me now. She's hollering at me. I'm a weirdo crazy ass. So, pretty awesome words. Uh, we're still gonna be here. All right, we got. I gotta make up some more. But we gotta plant a whole one of lettuce. Where do you crazy at? That's all the name. This is our mix here. Uh, this is not gonna matter because oops, I don't need thirty of them each one. <laughs> Lettuce is pretty easy to separate out. You just <clears throat> them in a little bit. Oops. I ain't gonna be able to separate out 30 or 40 of them there, but. There you go. Here she comes. Hey, girl. Hey, guys. Where do you go crazy at, huh? Did you hear me, Holly? Yes, I did. I couldn't remember what you, it was. Where do you go something? I want a tomato. Well, tomato? Go get one. Ow, I see myself on the TV. There ain't no thing in there, Lily. Oh, she said she thinks herself on the TV now. She really has got stung by the TV, but not on this, in this area. Um, over there, uh, under the. Oh, I know a lot of tomatoes. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of them coming up, ain't you? Oh my God! I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. Why it's on the ground? You gotta go get her uh, a little tomato for breakfast. I will harvest tomatoes if I could. You would harvest the man's if you could. Pink sour. What? Pink sour. Pink sour? Oh, was a little green? You gotta wait till they're red, baby. <laughs> you weird yo crazy act. 
I don't want to embarrass her. Two little tomatoes. Two little tomatoes. There's plenty more of them. I can bring these. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Where is that? You don't want to try that. Oh, there goes all our green beans. A little nasty. A little nasty. So, I haven't got a chance to plant the the broccoli. I'm not going to Okay. Well, we're pretty much done for that. i make more space. The broccoli, the red celery, and the white celery. Uh, I really want to, I know this is, uh, I get a lot of, into a lot of projects, but I really want to grow a lot of uh, the celery because uh, watching American Homestead, they season their meat with celery, and I really want to learn how to do that and start seasoning. Uh, Is there any more vegetables instead of tomatoes that I like? <laughs> well, there's only uh, we got a bunch of peppers and squash. You don't you, you like them cooked? You don't want to eat a pepper raw. Yeah. I know you would. She's a. You don't act like that because when I make spicy food, you like it's a little spicy, but it's really good. We had a. If I eat a wall, it's a man. We don't we don't splurge a lot on uh like having uh like uh baked chicken breast or something like that because I mean that's a rarity for us. Uh, I'm but not we had a, had some yesterday and. Uh, Today is actually is a new moon day, so uh, those of, those of you that uh, know what moon, new moon day, day is, uh, it's the beginning of the month. It's uh, biblical, uh, and oh, sorry, Dad, I keep on going up Yeah, and it's a feast day, so we're going to. Crank up the Adobe oven, make some uh, make some bread. Uh, we have a, a small young turkey that we're gonna bake uh, with some fresh uh, mashed potatoes, uh, some fresh green beans, uh, well anything that we can harvest fresh. Some baked squash, some squash casserole. Uh, you know, like a it's a feast day, so so why not have a feast on on days that we're supposed to have feast? But I'm not going to get into that on on this channel. <laughs> uh, Daddy, this this stuff is poking. I'm sorry, it's poking. Oh, the mint, and I was blocking it, blocking you from camera. If your arms out from the mint. I'm just putting dirt on there. I'm going to put the big stuff. Maybe. Maybe we just sprinkle it over. We were talking about before you got here how you normally do this. This is your job, but. I was not in here now. I you weren't in here today. I think that you did that. You okay. Are okay. I, well, we did it. We're good. No, we'll put a little there. Okay. Yeah, put them in there. But no, don't, don't, don't scrape it, baby. You can't scrape it. You just gotta put them on there and just kind of pat them down. You know that. No, we always scrape No, we scrape them when we're filling them up. But we we don't scrape them when we put the seeds in there because then we just pat them down. Remember? So we don't want to move seeds from place to mix. Not that it'll matter with this because they're all mixed anyway. So. Uh. Oh, what my hands? Well, we're gonna have to go wash our hands. 
Well, is it about to be done? Yes, we're, we're done now. All right, guys, we're going to go uh, start cooking our, start grinding our wheat and making our bread. And uh, I'm going to get the adobe oven fired up. And we're going to get ready to have a feast. But we're going to film it for y'all because uh, we know you know how we like to share. But <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, keep growing. Uh, that's somebody else is saying. I don't want to say that, you know, because that's somebody else is saying. Uh, get out there and try it. That uh, might mean somebody else is saying, too. So. Okay. And it's going to say our saying. Honey, oh, wait, oh. I mean, I love you in season. Bye, guys. Later, guys. Is that the last thing? Yeah, it's like that. I never come out here no more. This is my last time I'm going to play. Oh, I'm a fail. What? What? What?